I started DMing for my friends about a year ago, because all of us always wanted to play Dungeons & Dragons in high school, but we never really knew how to even get started, so we never did. But this time, I was coming home for my first year to university, filled with hours of dozing off in class, thinking about high fantasy, so I gathered my group of 20-year-old, third-year college students, and finally decided to get around to playing our first ever session. I don't really know why I was a DM. I honestly just think I had the most free time of my friends, so it just made the most sense for me to be Dungeon Master, but I had no idea what volunteering to be DM meant. I had no idea about all the rules, or the monsters, or whatever the fuck a bonus action was, but, but I tried. And on my way home from college, I wrote the gist of the story and tried my best to utilize Roll20 to learn the basic mechanics of the game. But when it came time for us all to create our characters, we all figured that we would just start at level 1. You know, like an RPG game, and I should also say, I had no idea what it meant to be proficient in a weapon. I assumed you could just use it, not that you get bonuses, so when they asked me what they put into their skills, I thought, skill points. You know, like a like a video game. So all three of them create their level one characters with their basic starting equipment with no knowledge about how their skill works, no usage of the proficiency bonus, and a very loose understanding of how combat works because <laughs> their hapless DM had no idea of the mechanics of the game. But uh, boy, were we all excited to get started. So I threw some basic tutorial fights to them because I wanted them to get a small understanding of how turns work. So the enemies were nothing deadly, but they got to a point where I wanted to throw a challenging boss at them. So the planning I had done ahead of time was simple. They were level 1 characters, so when I was looking up balancing fights, I always saw something that said, check the combat rating. So I did. And what I saw was number 1. I did not see the part about how the combat rating matches the party's average level. I assumed that it it meant a level 1 enemy. And to my level 1 players, which may I remind you, you have rolled one hit die at level 1. And two of them had rolled a d8. So their maximum health going to this fight was something like 5, 6, and 8. I threw three wargs at them. Now, I don't know if you know the stats on wargs, but they, here, I pulled them up. They have a plus 5 to hit, and their damage dice, 2d6, plus 3, or you know, a casual average of 9 piercing damage per bite. This was not good. So, needless to say, I quickly realized that I was about to one-shot TPK my whole, my, my friends, but... I didn't want to interrupt the scene, so I tried to keep narrating the best I could, and at this time, they were traveling with an NPC, who I had planned to be part of the story when they got to town and be a small semblance of their growth, but uh, let's just say I had to do a lot of rewriting after this. So I had the NPC tank all of the incoming damage through some bullshit taunt move I made up on the spot, while my friends sunk their minuscule damage into the wargs. And they had, they, to their credit, they had killed two of them and were concocting the plan to kill the third when they commented about how much health the NPC had. And oh yeah, that's right, me, the DM, is also the control one controlling the NPC in this fight. It was, it was, it was not a good situation. Anyway, 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 they, they'd come up with a plan that one of them would climb the nearby tree and try to jump attack the warg and attempt to subdue it while the other two could hold their attack actions. And... The warg didn't have much health left, so I figured, okay, let's make this cool for them. So when the warg bit the NPC, whose health, by the way, had long surpassed zero, I let her now fall in an attempt to inspire my heroes to avenge their fallen friend. So one of them climbs up into the tree, the other gets right underneath him, and the last stood at the ready. And I'm, I'm ready for this fight to be over, I'm ready for my heroes to, to, to bask in the glory of victory, and just finish off this tutorial boss fight, then my friend rolls his acrobatics check and a nat one. And because they had positioned themselves in this way, he fell straight down onto the friend underneath him, dealing 1d6 damage to them both. 
Oh, and the other friend, knowing he should just attack, swung with a big ol' three to hit. My three friends, the heroes of this story, the soon-to-be champions, clapped onto each other and swiped at air, effectively causing more damage to themselves. Like, I know they don't know what's in store for them, but for me, the one who knows that this story could very well end with them saving the universe, witness their crude, humble beginnings. <laughs> because their dumbass DM didn't know how to balance the fight. <laughs> and now, they eventually beat the wargs and hit level 2, and believe me, that's one of the most well-earned level 2s ever, but I learned that day to really read that rule book and, and, and manage things properly, and, you know, probably not to start out a party of two casters and arranged PC at level 1. But thank you for listening to my mess ups. This is my first time sharing one of my DM stories, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment about one of your DM stories and hit like and subscribe to help me feel better. And I'll see you all next time.